All right, guys. Uh, just want to talk about the Passport Bros um, again today. Um, the reason I'm taking an interest in it is because I think it's the bias is not correct. Um, there's a lot of green-haired women and whatever whinging about guys going overseas and um, enjoying life, um, but it's a bigger picture. Um, I did it from 2007. I, I pretty much had enough of the, the way the UK was. I, I met my now wife, April, um, and I made the decision to move out to the Philippines. And now we live here in Spain, not far from the beach, as you can see. Um, we have our own property here. And quite simply, we've got a fantastic family life. Um, going out to the Philippines, it's not an easy move and so I've seen people say oh it's expensive to move overseas it's not expensive the see money is not the driving factor here the reality is your perspective changes so if you're in that Western churn same job same town it's just going over and over you're not living you're existing you look forward to your couple of weeks holiday a year all that sort of nonsense and you're stuck in a rut and that's the rut that suits the banks, it's the rut that suits governments, it's the rut that keeps everything nice and easy for everybody else. When you start thinking outside the box, you start doing things like creating your own companies, you start disrupting um, the norms, or maybe you don't, maybe you do, but the fact is you control yourself. Now, myself funding this house that we have in Spain, um, I had to get back into the uh, rat race to, to fund it. Um, we're coming out the back end of that now. And I've got to admit, it's probably been some of the worst years I've had career-wise uh, with some of the worst people I've worked with. Um, but the end goal is to exit. And the funny thing is, you're hearing like the UK government going about trying to get people that, in, that have retired in their 50s to come back. And funny enough, they don't want to come back. The, the whole society is vile, you know, it's gone woke, it's gone twisted, it's, there is nothing of value there uh, compared to what, what you used to have. I mean, I used to love going, um, like when I was doing exhibition work, it used to be what, what you're creating, when I used to build houses, it's the guys you work with, it's the, um, it's the environment you're in, you know, it's a big drive there. Now, everyone just complains and moans. Now, my working life in the UK is very different to my Spanish life. And people that know me from both will tell you that I change as well. Because in the UK, I'm just getting my head down, making the money and my thoughts about exiting. Here, in Spain, it's about developing your life. It's about um, setting yourself up for the long term and thinking out the box, developing your own ideas, developing businesses. Um, completely different. Now, in the Philippines, like I said, I was there from 2007. I was there for nearly eight years. We had so many different business opportunities. We made money on most of them. Um, and it allowed you to function the way as a, a male should be, which is as a provider, as somebody that actually takes responsibility, somebody that actually... Um, it's not some weak fart, which is often what they're trying to create today with this be in touch with your emotions, nonsense. And that's not what men should be doing. It's just garbage. It's probably why you're getting very weak males now that um, it's probably helped push up the suicide rate. Um, really not a fan of it. And as I'm coming out of the corporate world again soon, I'm, I can be a bit more open on the fact I think it's counterproductive the way things have been driven into that environment falsely, um, false equality, equality and diversity don't fit into the same policy, but in corporations they often do, and they're contradictions. Um, but the reason I was making this video today is, the, the reality is going to Asia or something else is not an easy leap. Reality is going out there and starting a life where you haven't got the security of unemployment benefit, the security of free housing, all the sort of stuff that you get from the UK. Um, you have to think on your feet. You have to look after yourself. 
And I'll tell you now, the guys that even struggled out there, they don't want to go home. Because you know what? They're on their own. They're independent. They're looking after themselves. They're not reliant on anyone else and they're not expecting to rely on anybody else. Um, at the same time, that's what a lot of women are still looking for in men. It's actually having a masculine man that will actually take care of the family, take care of the bills, while they take care of the house and everything else. There's nothing wrong with that. And for me, I'm sick and tired of people saying there is a problem with it. No, it's a problem with you. The problem's you. You know, if you're not happy with it, that's fine. It's like these ones complain about um, passport bros. What, you think one of these guys is going to be interested in you? Not a hope. Um, you're not worth the time. And guys are woken up to it. There is very little on the table these days from most Western women. There's too, they're too uh, much risk in the facts of what you can lose by just having a short-term marriage, including half your pension that they never even invested in. Um, to the fact that the courts give the kids predominantly to the women. Why? Because then the guy's stuck paying all the bills for that family unit that they're not void with, the, the, with the new little boyfriend or whatever, but you get to pay all the bills still. It's not worth the hassle. Um, but what I find myself, because um, predominantly my friends are married to women from the Philippines, is they have strong relationships. The people are bought into the marriage in the sense of they're committed to each other as such. They have a strong family unit. They have a strong, thriving family, which means everything else is much easier. Because you don't have to walk a look over your shoulder. You, your focus is actually on the family itself. If that's if that's what you've got, you're heading down the route of traditional families. There's, having a happy traditional family, I bet most people would want that today. Look at the divorce rates. Seventy-five percent of divorces are instigated by women. That's because, for me. I think too many lack depth, commitment, and a thought of anybody but themselves. Unfortunately, I find that's too true, and I find that's why you're finding a lot of guys just going, nah, not interested. You get you head east, you find a different person, different mentality, different commitment, and the fact is, you've got that degree of trust. And if that's two-way, you're in for the long term, the long haul, and you probably end up retired together. What's wrong with that? Thanks for watching.